Hello everyone, Panda here, and welcome to Shrine Watch The Perks. I hope you've all had an absolutely beautiful week. Uh, I've had a nice week over here. It's been beautifully sunny, playing with the new puppy, and just having a good time. Right, so what is on the shrine? Well, we know what's on the shrine because last week we voted on it in the community choice builder event thing that Behaviour did. They gave out the questionnaire and we filled in all the things. They gave us six different choices for the shrine this week and this was the most popular picked one. So let's quickly go through the perks and then jump into some games. So starting with our survivor perks, our first perk is a Bill Overbeck perk. It's 11th time on the shrine. We have Borrowed Time, a very powerful perk that pretty much the majority of people tend to use. After you unhook a survivor, they get endurance for 12 seconds, meaning that if the killer tries to go down and knock them down straight off the hook, they will just take a hit. They will go into the mend state, so they'll have to run away and mend up, but it essentially gives your teammates a little bit of protection against certain playstyles by the killers. Our second survivor perk is a David perk. It's 10th time on the shrine. We have We're Gonna Live Forever. So this is the perk for survival that will get you extra blood points. You can double your blood point gain per game as long as you get four tokens of this perk and you get a token for performing a safe hook rescue, taking a protection hit or making a killer drop the survivor from pallet saves or from the flashlight. And also an added bonus is that if someone is down on the ground, you can heal them up at 100% increased speed. So you can get people back up off the ground a lot faster and get some extra blood points. And over on our killer side, similarly to We're Gonna Live Forever, we have the blood point gain perk for killers. We have a barbecue and chili from Leatherface. It's night time up on the shrine. The first time that you hook each survivor, you'll get a token of this. So 25% more blood points for each token. And you have to hook each different survivor one time to get the 100%. And the added super bonus of this is when you hook a survivor, any survivors more than 40 meters away from you, you'll see their aura for four seconds. So you know exactly where to go, where to chase, you know, which direction to head, and you're not running around like a headless chicken this is a super used perk and really if you need blood points you know you're trying to level stuff up this is a super perk not only does it give you a bit of knowledge about where to go but just that blood point gain is insane you know as killer you always get a ton of blood points anyway just because it's it's harder more stressful and all of that but doubling that beautiful and the big perk this week it's first time on the shrine thank you behavior it is an artist perk and it is the incredibly powerful scourge hook pain resonance so using this perk will add four random hooks into the game and these will be white. These are your scourge hooks. If you manage to get a survivor to one of these hooks and hook them up, it will make the generator with the most progress on the map explode. It loses 15% of its progress and will also automatically start to regress. If any survivor is on the generator at the time, they will scream so you'll know where they are. And this is just such a powerful perk. If you combine it with dead man switch, it makes probably the most devastating combo maybe in the game. The reason why is when the generator explodes and a survivor is on it, they get knocked off the generator for a tiny fraction of time, which is enough time to proc, dead man switch and lock the generator off for a full minute. On its own, pain resonance is really good just because it lets you know where the generator that's most repaired is. And if there's also a survivor there, then you know that you need to get your ass over there as quick as possible and try and pressure them, get them off it and save the gen. So there are my perks and what are my picks? Well, borrow time, you should already have it. We're gonna live forever. I don't know, I guess, you know, if you want blood points, We're Gonna Live Forever is gonna be for you. And let's face it, everyone always needs new things to level up. Everyone's always putting blood points into something. So maybe this is the perk for you. And over on Killer, it's an absolute, well, shit, I was gonna say a no-brainer, but both of these perks are really, really good. If you don't have barbecue already, grab it. But keep in mind, Pain Resonance, it's its first time on the shrine. It's probably not gonna be on here for quite a long time. So I'm gonna say Pain Resonance is the thing to get. And it also really is the best perk from the artist. So if you don't want to buy the artist and you're not interested in playing them, then this is the perk to grab. Okay, so there are our goodies. Let's take them in some games and see if we can actually get some super value out of these. Okay, better Ormond. Can I find some totems? Is there a totem right here? I love when you spawn right in front of a totem. It just feels so good. No totem. All right, so I need to take two protection hits this game to get my challenge done, obviously, and to get stacks of wig and live forever. So beautiful. Uh, just anything but a legion, please. I really am not enjoying playing its legion, and it feels like every second killer is bloody legion. Holy shit, this was a quick generator. Jeez. Oh my god! Right, well, on my list of killers that I really don't like to go against, it's the Wraith. Okay, Cheryl injured too. Uh, right, let's go back over here. Has he left? Open this up. Nice. Well done, team. 
Appreciate you. Hello. Tap on that. Get the save. Big beautiful. Love it. Love it. Where's the killer? All right, I'll heal you with this med kit. Oh, for God's sakes. Take the hit. Take the hit. Oh, shit. Shit. I've got two stacks of my uh, wig and live forever already, so that's nice. <laughs> oh, shit. Run, Jeff, run. Okay, we're dead. We're dead. I'm going down for us. Whoa, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. The basement? Piss off. All right, well, I got two stacks of wig and live forever. One for taking the hit and then the other one for the save. So we're halfway there. Okay, this game has the potential to go seriously downhill. Seems he seemed to come straight back to the hook after... Oh, man. This is fucked up. Borrow time. Nice. Let me take the hit. It's going to be right here. Guaranteeing it. Three, two, one. Damn it, borrow time's gone away. Right, well, let's commit to healing myself up here. Maybe this will work. Keeping it all very closely knit here. Not nice. Run free, Meg! Run free! Kick the gen first. Well, that fucking sucks. Come in! Oh, God. Holy shit, that was close as fuck. Okay. I'm still alive. We're keeping it going. Just gonna kick the gen. Let's go up here, I guess. I don't really know what I'm doing. Just avoiding being killed. Mainly. Yeah, yeah, go kill the Steve. <laughs> go kill the bloody Steve. If we can get this center gen done, honestly. <gasps> He's fucking seen me. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What is there to do, Dan? I feel like we're actually really screwed here. At least I am. Uh, where was there a chest? There was a chest over by the basement shack. That gen's already done. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, just because of the freak... Oh, shit! He's a wraith. He's gonna have no ed. Garen bloody teed. Uh, the no ed. Oh, there's another totem right there. Look at that. You can see it from here. I've still got some hooks left in me. Steve's healed up. Okay, Meg, I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for you. I really don't want to heal you here, though, if that's okay. Oh, you're healing me? Okay. There we go. Right, well, I've got Wigner forever fully stacked, so that's bloody beautiful. Cheryl's fucking dead. Rest in peace, Cheryl. And I assume that Steve's doing that gen in the basement shack. Let's go over there, Meg, and go and get... All right, Meg. He's going to come here, isn't he? Steve's on that gen. He's after Meg again. Shit. All right, I'm taking him. I'm coming for you, Meg. Oh, he's gone away. Right, so he's got a tinkerer, I assume. He's gone off to try and find Steve. Come on, Meg, we can do this. Do we commit to this gen or go and try and save Steve? I guess Steve's got an extra hook in him. Oh, no. Killer's there, Meg. Look out. Oh, he's chasing Steve pretty hard. Uh, I'm going to go around to that generator, honestly. Meg, you stay safe. I've done two totems. Steven. All right, I'm going to try and take a protection hit from here. If possible. If possible. There we go. I did it, at least. Oh, my God. It's the bloody mad Gritathon. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. When breakout meets... <laughs> Holy shit, I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. The, the haste 
that Breakout provided me was just enough to outweigh his adrenaline. Uh, not his adrenaline, his agitation. <laughs> Holy shit. That was terrifying. <laughs> okay, I love that. Absolutely love that. Uh, bloody hell, what do we even do now? Meg's in the house. I assume he's gonna come over here and give me an absolute dick punch. Oh, that was funny. Jeez. Never seen that happen before. Oh no, Meg! Oh no, me! God, we're in a tricky situation here, team. Steve, take the hit! 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 Okay, I'm going back to the basement. Meg's healed up. Dude, we're never going to get this last generator done. He's a little cheeky bugger, this Wraith. But I do totally... Usually, I don't like playing against Wraiths. But I do totally respect the Mad Grit lifestyle. Thanks, Meg. Appreciate you. Good luck to you on your future endeavors. If only Jeff wasn't so fucking loud, it'd be actually doable. Okay, chill. Oh, has Steve been attacked? Oh, we're in trouble. Let's go, Meg. Super Mouse 1 powers. We got this. Steven! No! Maggie's coming this way. Maggie's coming this way. Maggie's got Tinker on. Shit. I'm doing it. I'm going for it. Because Meg might have adrenaline. Steve might have adrenaline. We might be able to save the day here. Come on. Come on. Everyone have adrenaline. And Meg, go. It didn't happen. Oh, shit. Well. That leaves us in a bit of a tricky situation, doesn't it? I'm coming, Steve. I'm coming, Steve. I'm coming to get no edited by the Wraith. Get up, bud. Fuck. He's off. He's off after Steve. We didn't come after me. That's nice of him. Let's try and open up this gate, honestly. I'm sorry, Steve. He didn't have no heads. Is he picking him up? Shit. He's picking him up. All right. This is it. Jeff. Hurry up, Jeff. <laughs> oh. Put him down. Is he doing a Blood Warden play? I think he might be. Open the gate. He's now going to pick up. He is. You're not getting Blood Warden on me, friend. All right. He seems like he's using some sort of build that I would use. He's got like a Mad Grit, Agitation, Blood Warden. What a Chad. Uh, let's see what he had here. Uh, I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry, team. I didn't save you. I'm a terrible person. Mad Grit, Iron Grasp, no, not. Mad Grit, Agitation, Blood Warden, Iron Grasp. Sick builds. That was really funny. GG. Oh, man. So bloody Fruit Ninja. Honestly, that is literally one of my builds. Super respect. Okay, well, that was an absolute blast. Uh, let's play a bit of Huntress here for my killer games. I'm gonna use Scourge Hook, of course, and Barbecue. Uh, I'm not gonna use Dead Man Switch. Maybe I need to play another game and try it out, but I'm not gonna use that at this point. Well, I'm just gonna use Coup de Gras and Iron Maiden for faster reloads. And I think the funnest part about this build is the Wooden Fox. So when I reload my hatchets, which I do super fast because of this and this, uh, I get undetectable, so no heartbeat and no red stain for 30 seconds. So, you know, I will always be throwing one hatchet, refilling, and then always throw a hatchet and try and refill as much as possible. So I essentially don't have a heartbeat for loads of the game. Super. And a bit of coup de grass because they just don't expect it, you know. The Huntress is a bit slower than the average killer. So when you do a gigantic lunge, they just don't expect it.
Also, while waiting for this match, I predict that next week's shrine is going to have Lightborn on it because the new Hattie Core perk that I should have on the screen right now is going to absolutely destroy killers. It's going to be the worst thing ever. Okay, so you can an already open chest. You can rummage through it. So, you know, you get the one item, then you can go and get it, do it again, and you're guaranteed to get a flashlight in there. But the main thing is that when you get a killer blind, you know, score event, uh, the killer is blinded for 30 seconds, meaning they've got blindness, which means they can't see hooks, like hook auras. They can't see hook survivors, but mainly they cannot see generators, which means the, oh God, it's bloody Chris Murray. Uh, but you can't see generators, so you just don't know where to go. So the only way to counter that is going to be Lightborn. And I'm going to run it all the, oh, all right, bye Chris Murray. Uh, I'm just going to have to run it all the time, which kind of is annoying. And I think that they will see that that's going to happen and put Lightborn up on the shrine. That's just my prediction. Let's see if it works. Uh, from here, we can see basically everything. Oh, hello there, Survivor. I found you already. Uh, thanks for spawning me on the bloody thing there. All right, so white hooks are scourge hooks. She was over here. She's legged it. Oh, she's legged it. There she is. That's a big note, Claudette. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Oh my god, Claudette. That was not it. That was not it. Hey, Nancy. <gasps> My hunter skills are unparalleled. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is this game? Okay, right. Can we get to a white hook? Yes, we can. Beautiful. Good bit of scourging going on here. Uh, honestly, a beautiful start. I am super chuffed with that. Three people injured. One person hooked. Scourge hook. Smashed. Refill my hook, my hatchets. Go undetectable for 30 seconds. Best day ever. All right, that was not it. Jeez, this team. Oh, this team's just feeding me their souls. What? Oh my God, the dead hard validation is such bullshit. That was some bullshit right there. Like it hit her, it went smush. Now you go smush. Uh, right, more, more pain resonance. Let's go. Yes, I love hatchets. We always throw one hatchet just to make it so I can pick up another hatchet after I hook her up. Therefore, we get more undetectable and can get more stealth kills. Oh, uh, damn. What a start to the game. Two hooks, zero gens, smash. Okay, well, it's definitely looking good for me here. Nancy literally has given up. I don't understand. Okay, Nancy, you're making it not fun for everyone in the game. Oh, damn. This is some spicy shit. Where are you? They go back in the locker? They did not. Damn, I meant to throw a hatchet first. That's annoying. Give me my reload. Give me my undetectable. And we'll give it a little kick. Okay. Boards. Gee, she loves dropping the pallets, doesn't she? All right, let's refill. Therefore, we drop our red stain and shit like that. Gee, what is David up to? What is his plan? Oh, my God. They're just everywhere. I love it. Dave? Hi, Nancy. What is going on in this game? I'm having so much fun. Oh, God. The amount of fun that you have in Dead by Daylight when you are absolutely overpowering these survivors is disgusting. Oh, and Peyton Resonance, thank you for knocking that gen back, making it regress, and showing me exactly where the survivor is. You are such a quality perk. There we go. I clawed it. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. That wooden fox is such a legit add-on. Did you go in the locker? Okay. Damn. I know you're in here, Claudette. I know you're in here. I wanted hatchets, but I'll take you instead. And Skirchuk. Bam, I'm getting so much value. Holy shit. 
There we go. Right, four stacks of barbecue. We're getting extra blood points out the bloody ass. Uh, beautiful. All right, so now we can start killing people. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, that's annoying. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Let's just kill Dave. Or Nancy. I'm not fussy, honestly. I'm not... I'm definitely not fussy. Become unpredictable. Oh, shit. Nice, Nancy. Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, my guys. I'm sorry. Nia's still not here. All right. Man, the ultimate value this game has been pretty strong. All right, so unfortunately, I've killed that Scourge Hook by killing her on it. So, oh, God. There's a bloody another one. I'm sorry, Claudette. I'm not a bad... Oh, my God. I wasn't going to hit that shot, but because of coup de gras, we did actually curl it around. Beautiful. Nia's probably confused right now as to what the fuck just happened to her. I think now to unleash the true potential of Pain Resonance, I'm going to use... Claudette's near. Didn't see her aura. She's within the 40 meters. She's behind this thing right here. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. Right, good game, everyone. Good game. Right, so who shall I use Dead Man Switch and Pain Resonance with? Maybe a bit of artist? I do love my artist. GG. GG. Very GG. Jeez. I'm so surprised that they took away the public rankings, but they didn't put the portraits here. Why can't you tell me this was Claudette? Why can't you tell me this was Neo or whatever? That really annoys me. They've got to do that soon, right? There's no point not to. Oh, I want to see who this player is. Okay, let me just go here, click here. That's so clunky. Okay, so artists, of course, we're using our three foot charms. I'm going to unlock the true potential by using Scourge Hook and Dead Man Switch. It's just so f disgustingly powerful, uh, which should be a good laugh. Uh, and I just bought the sword weapon for her because the rest of the arms, the rest of the weapons, you know, it's like, oh, it's a twig. It's a twig. It's a twig. But then it's a bloody sword. That's it. I'm ready to go absolute bird shit crazy. Lovely. All right, we found our prey. Hello. Oh, wait, there's no... Interesting. There was no pallet there on the shack. Oh my God, what are you doing, Kate? What are you doing, bud? Oh, nice. Dead heart of the century, holy shit. Anyway, you're not down now. Bonk with my cool arm sword. Love it. All right, first hook. Do we have scourge hooks? <gasps> Shit, my eyes. Oh, that was close. Oh, the scourge hook right here. Lovely. This will let us know where the next survivor is. And there's two of them over there. Noted. Well, they're probably going to get that gen done then, right? Oh, no, they don't because it bloody knocks them off. I forgot. Pain resonance. What an absolute Chad perk. Hello. <gasps> yes, Kate. I'm coming to kill you, Kate. Bosh. God, I love this killer so much. So bloody fun. Where are you, Kate? Oh, Boontoem? Son of a bitch. Kate deadhearted the birds. That was not the play. And you're down on the ground. All right, so I don't know where the Boontoem is, honestly. That pissed me off a little bit. I hate Boontoems. Uh, we've got a Scourge, though. I should be able to get there as well. Lovely. Dead Man Switch has run out, so if they go and get on the generator again, well, it's going to get bloody locked off. The way to play against Pain Resonance, though, is to... Oh, here's the boon. Is to let go of the generator the second the survivor's about to get hooked, and then get back on it. It won't explode. It won't knock you off it. It won't trigger Dead Man Switch, but it will... Uh, still explode, but then you can get straight back on it again. Oh, bird things. Lovely. It's Kate. It's Kate again. 
I'll take it. All right, so it's bird time. What the hell? Shit, what up, Nia? Wasn't expecting that at all. Give her a little hit. She's going to get the birds off her, which is annoying. But we'll just set up some more birds. The more birds, the merrier. And I'm expecting to have a dead hard situation here. Oh, okay. Wow. Are the survivors bad today or am I just absolutely god tier? I don't know. Maybe it's just the pain resonance. <laughs> yes. It's bird o'clock. Oh my god. We're on a frenzy. We got scourge hooks everywhere. Bloody hell. Bam. Okay, there's the one. Let's do that. And we're going to try and get the double hit. Which I believe we can do if we... Damn, nearly. Okay, she loves dropping pallets. Nia? I don't like that, Nia. I'm going to come and attack you again because you blinded me. <laughs> Wowee. All right, I've still not hooked someone. Oh, it's Michaela, isn't it? All right, we'll try and find Michaela after this. Uh, but I'm just getting mad use out of these scourge hooks. Zero gens left. We're literally just in my happy place. I love it. And there. Oh, no, there she is. Oh, there she is. Jeez. It's just the absolute treat. God, I feel bad for the survivors today. I guess I'm on point. I actually did get some sleep last night, which I think has put me into some sort of turbo mode uh, where I'm just absolutely on fire. Man, I don't even need to bother about the scourge trucks anymore. Let's just start hooking people and killing them. Okay, one. Birds. The potential is here to get an uh, actual injury, but I rarely get it. Damn. They were on to me. So is this Kate? This is Kate. All right, Kate's dead. Kate, you're dead. I'm sorry, friend. Bonk. Uh, all right, let's get the game wrapped up. Uh, bloody powerful, though. Bloody hell. This, that perk combo is sick. Uh, to the point where, I don't know. I don't know if it's fair. I feel like when they do the nerf patch, when they, you know, nerf or buff 40 perks, uh, Pain Resonance is going to get some treatment on that. Okay, I see no auras, so Michaela's likely within 40 meters of me or hiding in a locker. All right, send out some feelers. Just see if we get a tag with any of them. And burst! And stab. And that's it, pretty much. Holy shit. Nice. Okay, GG. Uh, honestly, a really pretty sweet game there. Holy shit. Come on, Michaela. Let's get you out of here. All right, good game to the survivors. And that was a good try and watch as far as I'm concerned. Those games were on absolute point. They came in here with a decent build. We got Prove Thyself, we got brand new parts, hexes, no, boons even, four dead hearts. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I'll take it. Well, thank you very much for watching another week of Shrine Watch. It's been a pleasure to play for you as always. Uh, I hope that this episode helped. I hope that you get Pain Resonance because it's bloody strong as hell. Uh, don't feel bad for the survivors, you know, it's legit. Uh, have a great week. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, show a friend, and have, have fun. I will see you next time for The Dredge next week. Uh, the news is coming up tomorrow, so see you then. Pound it out.